Uh, since a lot of you guys were asking about the modern release data science course, I'll just ask somebody who has done that course and eventually, you know, uh, benefited from it. So Aditi in itself, uh, herself is a, you know, data science, board infinity data science learner. So Aditi, how was your experience with the whole board infinity data science course and the curriculum that, you know, that's there? Yeah. So firstly, <clears throat> I belong to the non-technical background. I just finished my graduation with statistics and mathematics. And continuing with this, I thought because theoretical knowledge can put you nowhere. You you require technical skills also to uh, do a job uh, everywhere. Yeah. So my uh, journey started with a uh, board infinity to get learn those technical skills. In the past six months, I learned so many uh, tools like SQL, Python. Uh, coming from the non-technical background, I've learned all the codings as well as uh, data visualization tools, for, including Tableau and uh, machine learning things. So, yeah. So and and uh, every period there were assessments, which made it very easy to learn all those things. There were hackathons, which keep you motivating all throughout the journey. So it was a uh, very helpful to learn across all the things. Okay. Okay, great. Uh, I'm glad you had a wonderful experience. Uh, again, so uh, number one, I believe somebody has asked probably one of my favorite questions. Akash, number one, virtual high five, buddy. I, this That is again one of the questions in my questionnaire as well. I, I call it one of the most controversial questions. So pick one, Aditi, R programming or Python. Which one would you pick out of the two? Okay. <laughs> So yeah, I'm also comfortable with Python, but <laughs> for a data scientist role, our programming is much better because, you know, it has inbuilt statistical packages and plots. And if, you know, uh, you require to do time series analysis, which is one of the most compo important component requiring for analysis, it provides Arima. So there are many inbuilt packages in, uh, in R which, uh, you know, which help you play with data. So it's the R programming. Uh, over okay. Python. <laughs> okay, okay, Akash. Number one, I have to put this one there that you're probably the first person who's picking R programming who's appeared <laughs> on the show. Everybody's like, okay, I'm a Python person, I'm a Python person. So that, because that's many people are more sense. comfortable with it. No, everyone goes, starts their career with Python only. So because of their comfortability, I guess. <laughs> okay. Uh, so again, uh, Sw Swamith. Uh, we already answered this question in the start of the session, so you can go and refer to this. I'll I'll be posting this live on our YouTube platform as well. So if you haven't subscribed to Board Infinity's YouTube platform, please go ahead and do that. We come up with you know weekly videos, bite-sized videos, as well as um, you know uh, different workshops, free webinars and workshops on every Sunday. So please do subscribe to Board Infinity's YouTube channel. You're gonna you know benefit a lot from there. But yeah, moving on to the next question I personally have for you. You just mentioned that you come from a non-technical background or if you call it like non-data science background per se. So how was the transition coming from that to a whole very, you know, tech-oriented domain and what were the difficulties that you faced? Okay. <clears throat> yeah, so uh, not non-technical was the problem, but not as such that I'm not uh, having any background for data science. You know, what data science requires the three things that is uh, statistics and mathematics secondly computer science that is technical things and thirdly it is the domain knowledge on what we are trying to so i think i have the background for statistics and mathematics well i was mathematically sound but it was the uh, technical skills which i had to acquire and through board infinity i learned all those things to make this career better okay okay uh Number one, we got another few questions. So uh, what are the important topics according to you to focus on when somebody is learning for the uh, learning data science? This is a question from Aditya. Yeah. <clears throat> so starting with uh, like uh, some of the basic tools for anybody to get you started in this role is uh, you have to be good with Excel, uh, okay. with any of the coding language or one data visualization tool that that will be more than enough for uh, for a fresher to get you started. And when you go through the journey, you'll have to learn the machine learning tools. Many, uh, you have to explore those algorithms, like why are we doing these algorithms to uh, make the work faster or quicker in an efficient way. Okay, uh, moving to the next question. 
uh abhinav number one being weak in coding is one thing and being in depression is something else it's a very critical manner you should not use these terms lightly and if you are actually clinically diagnosed with depression please go see a therapist um but yeah okay moving to the next question muthu kumar dot kunar 07 uh again it is uh okay just uh, just share some few tips uh from you know to uh, to learn programming i believe a lot of people are asking that essentially so could you please uh, ask that question answer that question yeah. sorry yeah yeah so for the coding practicing things like uh, because uh, many of you don't know how how to deal with it because there will there will be several conditions and you know where you don't get the accessible uh, codes Uh, which we get easily from any of the sites so to practice that there are many websites hacker rank uh, and uh, for sql there uh, there it is uh, like you can go for the khan academy uh, for the sql and yeah so there are many websites on which you learn on weekly basis uh, or to solve any particular question like for example if you are taking the if or while loop practice on such questions there will be many hypothetical situations on which you can uh, from your skills on okay okay uh, so i have to like uh, i'm coming back to uh, answer that you just give a little uh, while back that while you were learning at board infinity you you don't know, took part in a lot of hackathons so uh, i've yeah. i've had other learners as well and uh, you know come and talk about hackathons and importance of hackathons so what what according to you does a hackathon you know do for a aspirant or a learners uh, you know learning curve per se okay so when we learn this uh, when we learn <clears throat> something we only get to know okay this is something which our mind requires and then when we are doing the hackathon it taught you some competitive spirit like i have to dis- do this particular thing in this time period so doing with a time constraint is one such you know a- a- accomplishment goal in itself and bring you with uh, a uh, quick capacity and and hackathon also take for the accuracy uh, yeah. that is time with accuracy constraints so you automatically uh, push yourself to work hard and this way you improve for each of the sections okay okay uh, i'm going to come back to this uh, hackathon thing again but before that uh, muthu kumar dot kunar o7 hours board in friday provide placement assistant yes we uh, do provide placement assistance in uh, board infinity with every course that you are taking part in uh, learning programs you are going to be provided proper placement assistance where you will be getting soft skills knowledge as well and then will be provided placement opportunities along with that so uh, definitely that's a part of it and if you want like one on one coaching you can book one on one sessions with different coaches that are available on the platform as well so it's your call which ever you want to go with okay moving to the next uh, part like it's a follow up question any any you know kind of uh, crazy instances or experiences that you had in uh, while you know taking part in hackathons that you would like to share Uh, not crazy but yeah I, i enjoy the journey with gurtesh because he keeps you uh, uh, involved up, uh, through all the journey so not okay. crazy as such but i enjoyed or uh, whatever the things have been okay so what was like i i believe there's a capstone project at the end of your data science course at board infinity as well so what was your capstone project okay so fortunately i got placed just before the capstone project <laughs> my <laughs> started but yeah i started for the uh, sentimental analysis and the financial news uh, okay so what it does is it basically gives you the headline and uh, news headline the data set gives you the news headline and on the basis of that uh, you have to predict what is going to be the stock market price on the next day or that is the forecasting but with the help of sentimental analysis that is we are using text based thing okay okay uh, so we got a question we got a few questions uh, we got a question from palvi underscore 25 what are the main skills required for a data analyst role for data analyst role okay yeah so starting in uh, in the starting you have to be a data analyst before becoming data science because data science require more knowledge more knowledge of machine learning not just the beginner knowledge of uh, uh, you know how to hack, how to extract the data so uh, how to extract the data visualization thing this is what it includes in data analyst but uh, as you go further what is the difference between data analyst and data science is uh, the machine learning part or the mathematical behind the 
things why we are uh, uh, putting it on that note yeah that's all so here the coding part actually lies in the data science role now uh, in the data analyst role you you, you can uh, go with a simple tools as well with the excel or power bi yeah okay so uh, we got another question from aditya uh, do we uh, need to learn from other uh, sources rather than board infinity also or is uh, whatever being taught in board infinity enough yeah so board infinity is what it is providing you platform to get you started uh, when you because everything is accessible on youtube and any other sites there are many sites as well but uh, what gives the is you uh, they are providing you platform on how to get you started on each of the periods and besides that they are taking assessments on and quizzes hackathon so it's a supplement and uh, if you have to learn something it, there's no limit for okay. a, uh, for any course yeah you can always be uh, go for the medium blocks because med- uh, medium blocks will help you a lot for the data science journey okay uh, uh, analytics with there is another important website okay um it, guys i i'll be posting this live session again on igtv so you can refer back to these you know points and uh, just note down the websites again if you do want uh, to us to you know give you those websites just dm board infinity and we'll be more than happy to provide you those uh, so yours underscore rishav uh, number one interesting username rishav uh, ask from where can we collect the data because most of the recruiter ask from where okay yeah so there are many sites kegel github and uci repository you will have, you will have abundance of data on uci repository based on the uh, uh, or distinguished by each of the uh, components like how are you getting uh, which type of which field of data is it uci repository is a great deal okay uh, we got another question from chocolate bhuvan uh bhuvan you don't have to be this formal buddy you can completely just ask the question because it's a bit different uh, difficult for me to read the whole question in one go so he asked i completed my bachelor's in computer science applications and he would like to pursue uh, masters too so what according to you uh, is the opinion on that whether he should pursue master or, or just get in uh, because he want to pursue his career in machine learning will it be a waste of time or not okay yeah so it depend on uh, how are you passionate about like if you want to just get started and you think a uh, job will the kind of job you are doing will help you learning those things it can be one of the option but if you are passionate for that subject like uh, for the data science you you know how these things work you have to give time to those machine learning you can surely go for the masters okay and yeah. uh, rishiv is asking about like where can we uh, where can they get we can he get like real time data that's being updated any any resources that you know of yeah kegel and uci repository and uh, many of the government sites like if you want to have the like for example i'm just giving instance you you want to get the data for corona set so you, there's a government websites also which can provide you the same that is the real time data okay. your uci repository you'll get definitely Okay, switching gears a little bit, guys. I am loving this that you guys are asking questions. These lives again are about that. I am willing to take all the questions are prepared and ask all the questions that you guys have. So please keep all the questions coming in. Okay. Uh, okay, switching gears a little bit to the recent times. You recently got placed in uh, Ogam as an associate uh, analyst. First of all, congratulations on that. And thank uh, you. so like let's let's talk a little about that journey how many companies did you interviewed uh, for before you you know got your job at ogam or was it your first job are you that brilliant i have to ask you that <laughs> <laughs> okay uh, this is making me shy <laughs> no <laughs> yeah unfortunately this is the first interview i had applied for okay and uh, yeah i just luckily got placed into in the fir- very first attempt so okay. yeah so yeah with the now as i told you i haven't completed the capstone project not even the one uh, but uh, yeah i got this opportunity got a link like ogam solution is uh, asking for the new one who is having the <clears throat> some kind of machine learning project experience i applied for that there were four technical uh, there were four uh, rounds which involving hr technical and uh they prominently ask me questions about machine learning sql and guesstimates and all 
so okay. oh, it's not like uh, you get on the first opportunity or something uh, maybe i was uh, serious on through whatever the coach are, uh, coaches are guiding me and on the hackathons and on the webinars all such uh, exams so it will help you in some way okay like it was for me <laughs> okay so you went through four uh, different technical rounds yeah and what were yeah. the technical rounds consisting of yeah so firstly it was the uh, gd which includes uh, you now the normal discussion on uh, my topic was impact of digitalization and robotization in today's world so anything related with the data uh, uh, second it was the technical round one uh, where he asked me questions on deep machine learning okay uh, how yeah how is this algorithm works how, what is the math behind that machine learning thing Uh, for any particular algorithm uh, which they he want to uh, want to discuss then there were estimates some puzzles on uh, like how uh, that uh, ask you or test you how you going to play with the data so some kind of data interpretation uh, puzzles then it was a technical round 2 in which he give me some hypothetical situation and asked me to code on sql ask several other questions relating to what i have been went through uh, my journey of course and what did i learn yeah so it was included in the technical round 2 uh, then it was the hr round yeah that's it okay uh, we got a few questions from our learners number one pallavi uh, uh, if you are not good in coding can you switch to data analyst career you can we have already answered this question in the initial part of the session and we posting this session on the igtv as well so you can take uh, it from there so yeah uh, so palvi also asked like sql excel and power bi like skills or which should uh, she you know work on at this time if she is not good in coding oh uh, okay if you are not good enough in coding uh, okay you, on the initial basis you must um, have to start with the excel you is excel is the basic thing for you for the data analysis thing you have to be good for excel and uh, any of the data visualization if you have to pick i'll prefer tableau because it's uh, it's very convenient and also it provides dynamic charts and plots and um, yeah it makes your you no know, things like merging and many other things make it easier with the plots another thing is you are concerning for the coding you 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 are always good with the sql because sql is not uh, such complex coding thing but it's just the common logic what uh, 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 like a we or like when we are doing some language or when we are learning any other language language may not need to be any coding it's uh, it's be like a learning english french or something so what what we do, what do we do when we learn these type of languages we use uh, we take like this is the words these are some common words so in that way sql requires select uh, in from where these are the normal things and you just have to be logical okay what if this is going to be that and that uh, is sql is good to start with the coding okay uh, so we got another question from chocolate underscore bhuvan he asked what do you what keeps you motivated uh, to succeed as he has went through a few of uh, you know hiccups in his career and decided to choose uh, you know, his stream again so how do you keep yourself motivated in that okay first thing is uh, you have seen many of the places have been written there <laughs> that is never settled oh, what is the last option you could have Okay. if you are not doing anything so that is the motivation you you have never to be settled on anything and uh, if and it's not only about the data science career or anything if you are liking something you are passionate about something just go for it whether it is uh, giving you anything in return or not you you'll be lucky to continuing that okay that's what it matters i guess okay uh, so guys we are coming at the end of the session if you guys have any questions please do ask them down below and otherwise we'll be we are closing this session up uh, my last question for you aditi is so today a lot of uh, freshers or learners are trying to get into data science they are you know they are facing a lot of hiccups lot of misinformation as well so what would be your tips for all the people who are trying to get into data science okay yeah so there are many promotions and many other advertisement which has been going through like when you click on the board uh, any of the 
learning things to get you started with data science you'll see multiple on instagram facebook and everything but it's not like that you uh, just select on uh, this to uh, be rigid to what you have to start with and uh, uh, and go on with the revision parts like uh, the assessment things uh, oh, there there will be many quizzes on linkedin as well as on the course which you are selected on so try to what you have learned try to go for the revision and practice is one such key to go you ahead okay with that said we are at the end of this session thank you very much aditi for taking the time off especially now yeah. like on a working day now you're going back to work mm-hmm. again so thank you very much and yeah any any last you know uh, pieces of wisdom or advice that you would like to leave our audience with okay yeah so that is the thing as uh, the market or is everything is in chaos because of 2020 and 2021 you you don't have to be like what to do in such situations many are jobless many are unemployed the only thing is just enjoy what you are doing whatever it is okay okay with that said thank you very much uh, okay then we ask as fast as you can i'm waiting for you only because i don't want any any uh, person who gets her question just unanswered yeah so just ask as fast as you can and we'll be picking up your question as well but in the meantime guys uh, please do subscribe to board infinity's youtube channel if you have any doubts you know a lot of webinars and workshops do come there so a lot of your doubts or you'll be learning new skills for absolutely free okay so tanvi ask what's the difference between a data analyst and a business and in, uh, intelligence i believe it's business analyst for that matter business analyst yeah so data analyst uh, uses maths and statistics or coding uh, beyond business analyst because business analyst what they are having is just the do- domain knowledge like if you are uh, working for for example uh, pharmaceutical so you have knowledge of how 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 our conditions be like and which is the medicine which is going to be good in in this current world so yeah so you are having the domain knowledge in business analyst role but uh, but uh, like what is the mathematics behind it if you want to increase the profit or anything data analyst would help you in it so business analyst on the broad category requires the domain knowledge while data analyst is consisting of for maths okay uh, i hope tanvi that answers your question but again if you are still not uh, you know satisfied the answer you can definitely go on to uh, youtube channel and get this answer as well uh this question along with nine uh, eight other uh, data science faqs are being answered there so i believe you are in the starting stage of your career and quite curious as well so please go refer to those videos as well i'm pretty sure they're going to help you out so again thank you very much aditi and i look forward to having more sessions with you bye